Hi guys, Susanna Isdell here. Um, I'm just doing a in-between project for um, my myself, well, for my husband. Um, this weekend I'm going away for a wedding anniversary. We've been married 30 years and I was very young. I was 19 when I got married, so if you figure that out, yes, I'm 49. So I got this book given to me by someone. So nice. So I'm going to be using this as the cover. I'm going to do a, because um, we're going away to the beach and everything. So I'm going to um, use this as a, like a memory journal. Um, that was on the inside. I'm going to put that on there like that. But our bridesmaids and everything were in a lilac -y colour. Um, so I've got all purples and all that kind of stuff. So, but probably utilise some bits and pieces out of here. And this other book, which I found in a thrift shop about weddings. Even got royal weddings. How cute is that? But really nice little pictures and stuff like that. So, but what I am going to do today, because this will eventually go into this book, is, I should put that down there. Oh, I'm making a card for my husband. So... Um, and while I'm making it, I can um, talk about how we met and all that kind of stuff. So you'll get to find out a little bit about myself today. So I'm just going to trim this off. Got this nice music paper because my husband is actually a singer. And um, we met at church. I really hope this cuts. I've, I don't have much luck with these things. I am actually a, um, my dad is a minister and I'm, so I was a pastor's daughter and we moved from Melbourne to um, the country, Castlemaine, which is where I met my husband at church and they had heard that the new minister that they were getting had a 17 year old daughter and they were all, all the guys there were pretty keen. Anyway, when I got there, um, I um, met my husband for the first time, but this was the 80s, it was 87, and um, I was attracted to his best friend, so I was smitten by his best friend, and he was love at first sight for him, when he saw me, he's like, a bit of a babe, so... Um, yeah, hang a minute, I'm getting sidetracked. I've got to do this first. Make this, make an envelope. Yeah. There we go. Sorry, a bit of silence while I'm doing this. And maybe I can make it a little smaller. I don't want it so big. I'll just do it something like that. Yeah, that's better. So you got to work with what you got. Yeah. Um. Yes. Anyway. Um. Where was I? He. It saw me, and um. I was a singer as well. I've been singing since I was about 15. Where are we? And I joined the uh, music team that was at the church. And so my husband joined the music team because he wanted to get to know me. <laughs> Where are we? There we are, a bit higher. And that's where he found out he could actually sing. And he's got a really nice voice. Um, but he was sort of like going to uni at the time, university, doing a sort of like computery thing. And I thought he was just the biggest computer dork. Um, so I was not the type of girl to lead guys on. So I was actually quite mean to him to discourage him. <laughs> oh, aren't they awful? Um... Because I thought, I don't, I don't want to lead him on. I don't want him to think he's got a chance. 
so um, and I had a friend that was going there too she was quite a bit younger I think she was about 14 or 15 and he was 19 I said she's a nice girl why don't you go out with her just to fob him off me so he did <laughs> And then while he was going out with her, oh, it was we became friends. Um, so because it, it didn't have that creep factor, you know, when someone likes you and you like don't like them, you like unless it, your creep go away. Um, so I got to know him for him, and we we become really good friends. Like we were, he I was his special friend, and. Um, and he was still going out with this girl. And then my mum, my mum, Brad loves my mother. She's now since passed away. But he said, I'm very grateful to your mum for helping us get together. She just loved him. She just thought he was so sweet. And um, she said, you like him, don't you? I said, oh, yeah, I'm starting to like him because he was not, you know, creepy anymore. Because... He was uh, now going out with somebody else, and so we were just friends, and we we just so our our um we started off just being friends, and that's how it's really good, and that's why we've lasted that long because it was based on friendship, and we really got to know each other. And she said, "Well, why don't you tell him that you like him?" And I said, but he's got a girlfriend. He goes, yeah, but I can see that he still loves you. So me being really nice person that I am, I told him that I liked him and told him to dump the girl he was with and go out with me. <laughs> How mean. What? Not very nice person, but he did. Poor girl. Felt so sorry for her. She got the Dear John letter. Um, yep. So... And then the rest, as they say, is history. Okay, now, where are we? Hopefully, I'm thinking this is probably going to be too big for this journal. I'm going to grab it. I may have to cut some off. Oh, I think so. Here we go. So... Oh well, cut these little bits off here. Yeah, so there you go, my romantic story. And at the time, Anne of Green Gables was really, fairly big. I loved that show with um, oh, what's her name? And I sort of compared our story to his. She didn't really like Gilbert Blythe to begin with, but then. Her, her love for him grew over time and that was the same we just I sort of I um, got to know him without having that creepy you know when someone likes you factor there you go so and anyway he continued to keep singing and I still do every now and again but He's a natural at it. He's got a, such a, a good voice and he's actually one of the worship leaders in our church. Just, um, things. I might do this here. hope I'm not boring you too much with my stories. I thought I'd just give you something to do while I'm creating. I don't know if you've noticed or not but my desk is actually a little bit cleaner it took me forever still got bits and pieces laying around because I've got some commission journals I forgot to do this is just an in-between job so I thought I'd make a start on this and then I'm going to be doing it making the journal and I'll probably film it and have it as a create with me um, style journal we're not going to see the back bit. Yeah. So, yeah, so my husband is very much into music, plays the guitar. And so I thought this music paper would be really nice. There we go. 
because there's the envelope. Um, where did I put that? Here it is. the join there. Oh, the weather here is pretty hot already and we just sort of begun summer. It was it's not too as bad today but it's been 30 something degrees the last few days. The air come on. It's the hardest part is it at night. I remember our wedding day, the 10th of December is when our anniversary is. And because we were married in Castlemaine and it's actually quite hot, hotter there than it is in Ballarat. And, oh man, I was hot. But I had a hoop. And sort of that old style dress. So just as well, I had a bit of air flow underneath it, but it was pretty warm. When I do my journal, I will show you some photos. So you can have a look at pictures of young Sue's. My husband looks like he was about 12 in the pictures. He was he was 21 and I was 19. But he such a baby face. Okay. There we go. There we go. And I am going to so around that, I thought I'd get some pretty pretty paper hearts and flowers, isn't that cute? Now I've got this beautiful range that I had bought from uh, Deli Girl Creations. Beautiful purple um, colours because our bridesmaid dresses were that colour. So gorgeous. Oh. This is a, a ring in, but it's got belly bands and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be using this range for the journal. So pretty, so pretty. So I'll put some photos in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Lilac smell, so beautiful. And which is quite nice. So there you go. So I'll probably put some photos, wedding photos in there. And we're going to be going to the beach. So, how gorgeous is that? So pretty. Just got to see if I can utilise. Yeah, I'm going to utilise some of these. Um, 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 um. Maybe that one. Yeah, I like these. I like these plain pages. They'll be good for journaling. And she's even got that in there. It's a really good kit. Um, which I'll probably use that. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. So pretty. So I'll be using this kit. So they're basically my pages. Because I don't think I'm going to be needing much more than that. Now, as for the card, just got some card stock. Gonna have to make up something that's going to fit there. Um, how wide? There we go. Beauty of making your own, you just make it to fit. And this is one of the corner pages that I made, which I had in mind to put in that journal to put in the purple tones. Now, Right. Give us a look. 
I'm going to have to have a bit more because of the tape. So even though it's a card for her anniversary, it'll end up being in the journal. So he's actually quite a romantic old soul, Bradley. And um, he quite likes flowers and all that kind of stuff. So I can make it look really pretty. Now... Okay. Oh, I still might take a little bit more off, I think, just to make it easy to get in and out. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, even though I have got that paper range, where are we? I found these. Where did I put them? Oh, hang a minute, I'm just going to pause and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I had put aside these really pretty. I think they might be from Tim Holtz. And it's got some really nice sayings, best friends forever. But it's just so hard because I can only do the one card and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um... Even though they're nice. And they cut out some of those, I think. Oh, the butterfly. I love that. That is so gorgeous. See, that goes really nicely with that. I was going to do this. That might go nice on the inside. Pretty wicked. I think so. That way I can write. Yeah. Put that in there. And then that can be part of the inside. How wide is it? 175. 175. I'm still in frame. I'll go up a little higher. Normally, I mean, I have made homemade cards before, but um, not to this extent, but because it's going to go in a journal, you don't mind doing that little bit extra work. And my husband loves homemade cards. Okay, so that's that. And then what's the width this way? 110 or 109. 100 underneath for when I do gluing because I don't want to get it all, all over my mat so uh, glue stick because it's a newie it's a bit it's a bit uh, sticky ah! oh my goodness see blooming glue stick the UHT um Whatever that brand is, so much better than this. Good grief. It's just ridiculous. Okay. Ugh. Really don't want that to happen on this. 
I'm going to do that on the inside. I'll do the outside in a minute. that that's what I should have done in the first place oh, but you guys must laugh at <laughs> my mishaps all the time oh well at least I keep you entertained okay Oop. that is so annoying uh, this way a, a uh, good representation of what marriage is like, eh? Patching up things that you often need to do. There we go. Especially when you first get married. All the different, you've got to get used to this new person. Now... much over one side but oh well good grief move that out the way and just cut some off there we go and you can't really see that thing anymore which is good oh goodness Sentiments are not uh, this on the back of the card. I think this is a freebie from Calico Collage. These tags, they're awesome, they're really pretty. it on there I'm just getting rid of that white now let's see how I go with glue in this baby mm. all right fingers crossed stick and I made all my um, my pages book pages there we go it's just the little finishing touches which are quite nice now what to put on the front what I was thinking got this really pretty book paper paper which I am going to put on there bought that when I went to um, where was it when we went to Tasmania for a holiday with our family in 2013 I think it was had this really cool shop that had all these papers so and I like the edge where it's torn a little bit so I'm just going to put that on there like that show a little bit of the a little bit of the um ugh. Be really careful 
it because it's handmade paper. card that would be disastrous it's really pretty I'll probably utilize um, some more of that in in the journal I think always busy making journals for other people I started getting into journaling so that I could because um, I was a scrapbooker um make some nice of my own scrapbooking books and was going to do it for making like a photo album memory albums and so busy doing all these other stuff for everyone else haven't really done much for myself okay there we go now Need some more in the corner, I think. There we go. Very nice. So, what I will do is there is some really pretty sayings I found on this, and I think I like that one. When someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. I really like that. So, I'm going to have to chop it in half. Pretty much is only just going to fit. And that one will have some of the clocks on there, which is nice. I have to cut it a bit closer. Okay. Quite like that saying. Just to get rid of those white raw edges. So I'm jumping the gun a bit. I'm getting the saying. And I need to get the um, the actual picture that I'm going to stick on there. So I'm hoping that this will not be too long a video. If it is, I apologise, but um, I have to get this done. Where are we? My husband's off to carols tonight where is the lid oh, I hate it when you can't find stuff so I rather like that this is actually from Japanese diary. Oh, geez, I hate it when it does that. I'm not supposed to do that. Um, Japanese diary magazine, which is a really nice magazine. Oh, okay, I think I will just get the ruler and the knife out. And then I was going to do this on the other end which I stuffed it okay something which is sort of nice but not too feminine but something I reckon he would probably like looks like that Um, and then maybe use the top of the house as a guideline. Yeah. There we go. Do you 
here we go. But I want to tear it. Now it's easier if I tear it this way. Just to match in with the, the other stuff. Maybe even give it a bit of a inking. Okay. Okay. I think I'll glue this after the last effort. If I need to do the edges, I will. Okay. There's some really pretty pictures in um in Daphne's diary. Beautiful book. Just put a little bit of glue the edges a little bit this stuff is globby alright Awfully close. I'm gonna have to just um, get into that little bit of that W. Gift of what it's supposed to see. And these are just the, you know, when you have scrapbooking paper, these are the ends. I think I just noticed I've cut myself this morning. I don't know how I did it. Okay. Just, just fits it in. Pretty. I like that. I might have um, put something else nice on there. But I might leave that for now. And start with the decorations on here. Um, because this... It's rather beautiful. I'm going to put that underneath there. Maybe that there. still see that and because this is a bit thicker I 
see if that could be a uh, something that could hold it up. I just love that. I think it's so pretty. Hmm. There's some really nice stuff in here. That'll work. Okay. Here we go. In the purples. Purple it up a bit. Dusty Concord. Even this. Maybe put that on there as well. And yeah, I think that's done enough. I think that will work. But then I'm going to put a butterfly or something like that on there. I think there, it is really pretty. One of those. So I'll cut that out and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just realised the time. And I thought I'd just do a lot of stuff while the camera was off. So what I did is I stuck that on. I cut that out and I stitched around this little, the outside of it. And I'll put that on there so that will be the closure then I put the little one on here and then I used up the rest of that paper that was here so I thought well though this seemed a little blank on that side so I'll just write my message in here the hand made with love oh, I think it's turned out rather sweet so that will go in here for our anniversary thanks for watching guys and um you'll be kept up to date with the journal that i make and i'll um yeah i hope you enjoyed watching it um this today and finding out a little bit more about myself <laughs> hope it wasn't too boring um sorry that it's a little bit longer than normal but um love takes time as they say no worries thanks guys for watching um until next time bye